As climate norms shift and extreme weather events increase in frequency, society's dependence on electricity is rapidly growing, driving an even greater urgency for a resilient and reliable electric grid. The Electric Power Research Institute, EPRI, is leveraging technical expertise, utility insights, and broad stakeholder collaboration to strengthen the power sector's collective approach to assessing and proactively managing climate risk to the power system. Intense weather events like hurricanes, wildfires, and drought can severely impact the full extent of the power system from generation through delivery and to ultimate power utilization by customers and communities. The importance of a resilient and reliable power system is escalating as electricity delivers more and more of the final energy that society requires. Electric end-use technologies, like space conditioning and water heating, currently account for 70% of the energy consumed in American homes. But as vehicles and other products continue to electrify, this share of final energy continues to grow. Power sector adaptation and resilience planning and investments must be guided by scientifically informed insights about the power system and the environment in which it will operate as the industry decarbonizes. With this challenge in mind, EPRI is launching the Climate Resilience and Adaptation Initiative climate ready to create a common framework to enhance the planning, design, and operation of a resilient power system. Operating concurrently, the three work streams will provide a comprehensive, consistent, and collaborative approach to identifying and prioritizing mitigation solutions as cost-effectively as possible. Workstream 1, Physical Climate Data and Guidance, will identify the data required for evaluating various climate hazard impacts across different power system applications. This will include an assessment of data availability, quality, suitability, and methods for downscaling and localizing climate information. Workstream 2, Energy System and Asset Vulnerability Assessment, will establish a consistent method to evaluate vulnerability at the component, system, and market levels, from planning to operations, and identify mitigation options from system to customer level. Finally, Workstream 3, Resilience and Adaptation Planning and Prioritization will develop guidance that can be used to assess power system and societal impacts, informing decision-making around optimal investment through comprehensive cost-benefit analysis that considers a broad range of factors, including reliability, affordability, safety, decarbonization commitments, community priorities, and equity. Strengthening power system resilience against both long-term climate change and extreme weather impacts of today requires unprecedented collaboration between all stakeholders. Are you ready 